Sehr geehrter Herr Bundespräsident. Dear President. Bundestagspräsidentin. Dear President Meine sehr of Damen und Bundestag, Herren. ladies and gentlemen. Es ist ein großer Ehre. It is a great honor for me to be here with you today. My wife and I, for us it is very important that during our first visit as King, we had been invited to Germany. And above all, that I'm able to speak here to you today to renew our bond of friendship. There is hardly a better place for this uh, commitment than this building, the uh, stones of which tell the story of uh, our history. It uh, uh, tells of what connects us. It was set alight in 1933, it was severely damaged in 1945, and then in the 90s it was then turned into the parliament of the reunited Germany by a British architect. This iconic glass cupola is a symbol for the responsibility and accountability of Parliament. Citizens can watch their politicians at work. It is lived democracy. My wife and I, back in November 2020, had the opportunity to be here on the occasion of the Remembrance Day. For me, it was very important, 75 years after the Second World War, to be here uh, together and to commemorate the victims. Und als erstes Mitglied meiner Familie an dieser bewegenden As a first member of my family, I was able uh, to participate in this moving commemorative event. The United Kingdom and uh, Germany are on a path of Germany and on a path of peace. You, President, showed it impressively in 2018 by participating in the commemoration of the end of the First World War in London. To be with you once again, now as King, and to renew the special bond of friendship between our two countries. This friendship meant so much to my beloved mother, the late Queen, who often spoke of the 15 official visits she made to Germany, including her five state visits. The first of those in uh, 1965 came when our continent was still deeply scarred by war and the trauma of conflict. Hers was the wartime generation, and like my father, the Queen had served in uniform. That my parents' 11-day tour of Germany should prove to be a pivotal moment in the reconciliation between our nations was therefore a matter of great personal significance to them both. 
Meine Mutter wusste, welche enorme Errungenschaften uns in right den across the country of that in our times of mourning with a family. deep consolation. Danke. On Danke behalf of my entire family, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the deep sympathy by sympathies by the people from Germany. Uh, Mr. President, Madam President of the Bundestag, since my last visit, since I've spoken here last, the sport of the war is back in Europe. The, the war of aggression against the Ukraine has caused Menschen unimaginable gebracht. suffering to so many Zahlose innocent Leben people. So many lives are being Menschen destroyed. And brutal freedom and uh, dignity are trampled underfoot in a brutal way. The security of Europe is as threatened as are our democratic values. But the world is not looking on without being active. We are deeply shocked by the destruction, but we can be encouraged by our unity when it comes to defending Ukraine, peace and freedom. Deutschland und das Vereinigte Königreich Germany and the United Kingdom have taken on an important role as leaders as the biggest European donors to Ukraine. We have uh, given money and we've taken uh, decisions that might have been unimaginable some time ago. Germany's decision to provide such military support to Ukraine is considered to be a very welcome and very important by the world at large. Our piloten our pilots are flying sorties together in the airspace of our partners. Here in Germany, our armies have put together pioneer bridges and I will look at that this afternoon. Deutschland ist das ein Siegerland weltweit. Germany is the only country worldwide with whom the United Kingdom has such a joint unit. And this is a clear example and clear evidence for our partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel in the strength of the partnership between our two countries. Germany, her people and distinctive culture have made such a profound impact on me over so many years, so many of my previous visits. Since I first came to Germany, when I was just 13 years old, I have grown to become familiar with the different corners of this remarkable land. Like many uh, British people, I have close personal ties here. In my case, cherished family relationships and associations that go back generations. For all of us, however, there are countless points of connection and common experience in the British-German story, which has unfolded over nearly two millennia. Throughout the Middle Ages, the renowned Hanseatic League traded goods 
from Lübeck and Hamburg to ports up and down the English coast, establishing a trading partnership which underpins our shared prosperity to this day. Where goods traveled, ideas traveled too. Our people came to be inspired by each other's example. We developed a mutual admiration for literature, for music. German was the first language into which Shakespeare was translated and the first Shakespeare Society in 1864 was not founded in the UK, no, in Weimar, in Germany. In a few weeks' time, uh, during the uh, coronation in Westminster Abbey, we will again hear great works by Georg Friedrich Händel, who was born as a German and died as a Brit. And during every uh, coronation since uh, King George the second in 1727, we've been hearing this music. Throughout the centuries, people have... ...between our lands. In the 19th century, many Britons fell in love with Germany whilst on the grand tour. William Turner's mesmerizing paintings of the Rhine sparked to these countrymen the ambition to see those landscapes for themselves. A demand later met by Thomas Cook, the pioneer of tourism, who would organize his first foreign trip along the Rhine, with stops at Cologne, Frankfurt, Heidelberg, and Baden-Baden. Today, millions of Britons visit Germany each year, just as millions of Germans travel to our shores. Britons come to admire Berlin's vibrant culture and nightlife, making up Europe's largest visitor group to this wonderful city. So we are still, still admiring of each other's culture, dependent upon each other's economies and inspired by each other's ideas. More recent generations may think as readily of the Beatles or Kraftwerk as they do of Brahms or Baron, but the web of cultural connections is as strong as ever. And perhaps most importantly, for the last 50 years, we have laughed together, both at each other and with each other. <laughs> and And while Miss Sophie's the same procedure as every year, James, <laughs> with a very accurate impression of modern Britain, <laughs> it is, I know, an integral part of a German Happy New Year. In Britain, Germany's comedy ambassador, Henning Venn, has um, given us an understanding of German quirks, as Monty Python brought our own here. <laughs> and <laughs> and like all old friends uh, at moments, the warmth of our relationship allows a small smile at each other's expense. Natürlich uh, gibt es auch Rivalität. Oh. There are also rivalries, I think, especially the matches between our football teams. 
For this background, it was something very special that the lionesses won against Germany and became European champion. Über den sportlichen Erfolg hinaus haben beide Mannschaften auf eindrucksvolle Weise für die Gleichstellung der Geschlechter gewirkt. So haben sie eine Equality of the Sexes, and in doing so, they have inspired a whole generation above and beyond sporting achievements. In Großbritannien, Deutschland. Great Britain and Germany and the whole world this were watching. One example of how our this is just one example of how our countries together. The world. There are, I am delighted to say, very many more. Faced with so many shared challenges, the United Kingdom and Germany are together providing leadership to secure our shared future. Today, the United Kingdom and Germany are Europe's two largest producers of power from offshore wind. Many German firms are involved in the production and erection of turbines off the British coast. The North Sea across which our people have traveled and traded for generations is soon to be the site of a new interconnector allowing us directly to trade uh, electricity. Our countries are both accelerating the expansion of our hydrogen economies, the fuel which could transform our future, and I'm looking forward to seeing Hamburg's plans to use hydrogen in its efforts to become a fully sustainable port. These innovations... <laughs> these innovations are vital in combating the existential challenge of climate change and global warming, which confronts us all. And as such, I was delighted to meet participants of the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue yesterday to hear how countries are accelerating this transition. Seit langem sind die britische und die deutsche wissenschaftliche Forschung wegweisend. Research in Britain and Germany have been pioneering when it comes to setting up new technology startups. We are number one and two in Europe between our universities and our research institutes. There is more cooperation than um, with any so other in pair of countries in Europe. In London, the Berlin a company uh, in London is uh, setting up us to use electrophiles them as charging stations for electric Berlin vehicles. And in Berlin, you can be driven through the city auch in a fully electric London Ebene taxi. At an international uh, level, we are working very closely Glasgow together. During the climate conference Africa, in Glasgow, together with uh, South Africa, uh, we set up the uh, just energy transition partnership. And das another partnership Ergebnis with uh, Indonesia was the result of uh, very close uh, cooperation uh, during uh, Germany's uh, presidency of G7. Mr. President, Mr. President ladies and gentlemen, this essential partnership between our two countries is built of the expertise, dedication and ingenuity of countless people in both Germany and the United Kingdom. To them all, I could only offer my sincere and heartfelt gratitude. Tomorrow we will once again stand with the people of Germany in solemn remembrance. In Hamburg, I will pay my respects at the memorial to the Kindertransport, which 85 years ago 
saved the lives of more than 10,000 Jewish children from Nazism and gave them safe passage to new lives in Britain. I will also join you, Mr. President, and First Mayor Chencha in remembering those who perished in the Allied bombing of Hamburg in 1943. Aus der Vergangenheit zu lernen ist uns Learning noch verbessert.